10 Healthy Lifestyle Tips for Adults, UFIC For good health, we need more than 40 different nutrients, and no single food can supply them all. It is not about a single meal, it is about a balanced food choice over time that will make a difference. About half the calories in our diet should come from foods rich in carbohydrates, such as cereals, rice, pasta, potatoes, and bread. Whole grain foods, like whole grain bread, pasta, and cereals, will increase our fiber intake. Fats are important for good health and proper functioning of the body. We should limit the consumption of total and saturated fats, often coming from foods of animal origin, and completely avoid trans fats, reading the labels helps to identify the sources. Eating fish two to three times a week, with at least one serving of oily fish, will contribute to our right intake of unsaturated fats. When cooking, we should boil, steam or bake, rather than frying, remove the fatty part of meat, use vegetable oils. Fruits and vegetables are among the most important foods for giving us enough vitamins, minerals and fiber. We should try to eat at least 5 servings a day. For example, a glass of fresh fruit juice at breakfast, perhaps an apple and a piece of watermelon as snacks, and a good portion of different vegetables at each meal. A high salt intake can result in high blood pressure, and increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. When cooking, salt can be substituted with spices, increasing the variety of flavors and tastes. When eating, it helps not to have salt at the table, or at least not to add salt before tasting. Sugar provides sweetness and an attractive taste, but sugary foods and drinks are rich in energy, and are best enjoyed in moderation, as an occasional treat. We could use fruits instead, even to sweeten our foods and drinks. Eating a variety of foods, regularly, and in the right amounts is the best formula for a healthy diet. Skipping meals, especially breakfast, can lead to out-of-control hunger, often resulting in helpless overeating. Snacking between meals can help control hunger, but snacking should not replace proper meals. For snacks, we could choose yogurt, a handful of fresh or dried fruits or vegetables, like carrot sticks, unsalted nuts, or perhaps some bread with cheese. Paying attention to portion size will help us not to consume too much calories, and will allow us to eat all the foods we enjoy, without having to eliminate any. Some reasonable serving sizes are, 100 grams of meat, 1 medium piece of fruit, half a cup of raw pasta. Packaged foods, with calorie values on the pack, could aid portion control. Excess body fat comes from eating more than we need. The extra calories can come from any caloric nutrient, protein, fat, carbohydrate, or alcohol, but fat is the most concentrated source of energy. Physical activity helps us spend the energy, and makes us feel good. The message is reasonably simple, if we are gaining weight, we need to eat less and be more active. Physical activity is important for people of all weight ranges and health conditions. It helps us burn off the extra calories, it is good for the heart and circulatory system, it maintains or increases our muscle mass, it helps us focus, and improves overall health well-being. 150 minutes per week of moderate physical activity is advised, and it can easily become part of our daily routine. Gradual changes in our lifestyle are easier to maintain than major changes introduced all at once. For three days, we could write down the foods and drinks we consume throughout the day, and make a note of the amount of movement we made. To start with, we can introduce one extra piece a day. Favorite foods high in fat? We can choose low-fat options instead, eat them less frequently, and in small